far-right leader Giorgia Maloney has claimed victory in Italy's election and is on course to become the country's first female prime minister. Ms. Maloney is widely expected to form Italy's most right-wing government since World War II. That will alarm much of Europe as Italy is the EU's third biggest economy. However, speaking after the vote, Ms. Maloney said her Brothers of Italy party would govern for everyone and would not betray people's trust. Italians have sent a clear message in favor of a right-wing government led by Brothers of Italy, she told reporters in Rome. She is predicted to win up to 26% of the vote, based on provisional results, ahead of her closest rival Enrico Letta from the center-left. Ms. Maloney's right-wing alliance, which also includes Matteo Salvini's far-right league and former PM Silvio Berlusconi's center-right Forza Italia, now looks to have control of both the Senate and the Chamber of Deputies, with a projected 42.2% of the Senate vote. Her own party's success in the vote disguised the fact that her allies performed poorly, with Mr. Salvini's party slipping below 9% of the vote, and Forza Italia even lower. The decision on who becomes Italy's next leader is up to the president, not Giorgia Maloney, and that will take time. Although she has worked hard to soften her image, emphasizing her support for Ukraine and diluting anti-EU rhetoric, she leads a party rooted in a post-war movement that rose out of dictator Benito Mussolini's fascists. Earlier this year, she outlined her priorities in a raucous speech to Spain's far-right Vox party, yes to the natural family, no to the LGBT lobby, yes to sexual identity, no to gender ideology, no to Islamist violence, yes to secure borders, no to mass migration, no to big international finance, no to the bureaucrats of Brussels. Projections put the center-left alliance well behind with 26% and Democratic Party figure Deborah Sarakiani said it was a sad evening for Italy. The right has the majority in parliament, but not in the country, she insisted. The left failed to form a viable challenge with other parties, after Italy's 18-month national unity government collapsed in July, and officials were downbeat even before the vote. The Five Star Movement under Giuseppe Conti is on course for third place, but despite having several center-left policies, does not see eye to eye with Enrico Letta. Turnout was dramatically low, 63.82% by the time polls closed, said Italy's Interior Ministry, almost 10 points down on 2018. Voting levels were especially poor in southern regions, including Sicily. Italy is a founding father of the European Union and a member of NATO, and Ms. Maloney's rhetoric on the EU places her close to Hungary's nationalist leader Viktor Orban. Her allies have both had close ties with Russia. Mr. Berlusconi, 85, claimed last week that Vladimir Putin was pushed into invading Ukraine while Mr. Salvini has called into question Western sanctions on Moscow. Ms. Maloney wants to revisit Italian reforms agreed with the EU in return for almost €200 billion, Euros, £178 billion, pounds, in post-COVID recovery grants and loans, arguing that the energy crisis has changed the situation.